One of the first things we need to do in spring is get crabgrass preventer down. Crabgrass is an annual grass. It comes from seeds every year, and you don't even notice it until early summer when it starts to grow and get large enough to notice. And it usually grows in the bare areas of your yard. But if we're not seeing it now, why do we need to treat for it now? Well, because it's an annual grass, it comes from seeds that the mother plant dropped the year before, the mother plant dies never to return, but all the crabgrass seeds are laying around on the surface of the soil in the area where the mother plants all grew. So a crabgrass preventer is a type of an agent that creates a film on the surface of the soil, and when the crabgrass tries to sprout, it's killed by the crabgrass preventer. And usually it's mixed like this, with a lawn food. So when you're putting your crabgrass preventer down, you're also applying the first feeding of the year. And in fact, lawn food with crabgrass preventer is commonly referred to as step one in four-step lawn care programs. But there's always a lot of confusion about when to put it down. Now remember, I said crabgrass preventer forms a thin barrier on the surface of the soil. So timing is important. That barrier is very fragile time, foot traffic, even animals running around on it, wear that barrier out, poke holes in it, and anywhere where the barrier breaks down or is disturbed by raking, for instance, the crabgrass can still grow. So it's important to put your crabgrass preventer on right as the seeds are about to sprout. And how do we time that? Well, the best way to time crabgrass preventer application was, is with a couple of shrubs that are pretty commonly grown the forsythia, and the lilac. The trouble we have here in the Capital District applying crabgrass preventer is some of us live in a river valley down south or the Albany Basin. Others of us live out here in the hills where things run a little bit later. But these two shrubs, the forsythia and the lilac, in your area will always tell you when to apply the crabgrass preventer. Watch for the forsythias to start flowering and right at the end of their flowering cycle, when you see the ground starting to be coated with the yellow petals that have fallen to the ground, that's the time to put your crabgrass preventer on because that's when soil temperatures have reached the right level for the crabgrass to start to sprout down through that barrier. That's also the time when the very first lilac flowers are starting to open. So, no matter what your elevation, how far north or how south you are, whether the season is running early or late, the forsythias and the lilac will always help you perfectly time your crabgrass preventer barrier. Now, crabgrass preventer also prevents all seeds from germinating. That includes weed seeds, all kinds of other things, crabgrass of course, but it also will prevent grass seed that you might have put down on the lawn to restore an area or to thicken the lawn and you put grassy down. If you use crabgrass preventer on that area, like step one here, that'll also prevent your grass seed from growing. Now it is possible to start a lawn and prevent crabgrass at the same time, but you'll need to buy a specialized product for this, like this one here. It costs a little bit more, but we would call this a smart crabgrass preventer. It will prevent the crabgrass and all the other seeds from growing, but it knows not to stop bluegrass, fescue, and the ryegrasses that you might have applied to your lawn still allows those to sprout. So if you're starting a new lawn, especially where crabgrass, you can expect to be a problem, this is the way to go. Another little tip about crabgrass preventer, once you've prevented crabgrass for two or three years in a row, and there were no mother plants the previous year in your lawn, there won't be any seeds for the following crop. So you can stop using crabgrass preventer once you've got it under control. Keep an eye on a lawn. If some starts to encroach in again, then you'll apply it again. But it's not something that you have to do year after year after year. Then all you need to do in spring is just apply a regular lawn food and you're off and running. So bide your time. The biggest mistake people make in spring is applying crabgrass preventer way too early. Wait for those forsythia flowers to start to drop to the ground and you'll have the best results with your crabgrass preventer application. For Hewitt's Garden Centers, this is Peter Bowden.